<clears throat> Hi, um, thanks for coming by today. Uh, my plan today is to talk about a box of Rembrandt watercolors that I was gifted uh, by Royal Talons and how to use it properly and improperly. So I got this box and it's beautiful. It comes with all these tubes and it comes with a beautiful Kalinsky sable brush. I was very curious because if on the label it said it was the landscape selection and I've always been curious about uh, Royal Talons and Rembrandt's watercolors, so it was really exciting to get a chance to use them. On the label, it told me that these were extra fine watercolors, which is what I like to use. I like to use artist quality because they're more vibrant. So, when I first got them, I rushed out to the field and used them. It was during the pandemic, and since it said landscape, I picked some greens and I sat down and painted this over at Leo Creo near my house. It's just a doorway, and as you can see, it was Christmas time, it was in my journal, and I wrote the uh, day and date so I wouldn't forget when I did it. Okay, so I did that, and then I was curious and wanted to um, use the watercolors in a better, uh, more organized fashion. So the other day I got them all out, and I decided when I had used them previously, I just squeezed them out of the tubes as I um, needed the, the, paint, the paint and put it right on the palette here. So when I opened it the other day, there were little dried blobs and the tubes were still here. And it didn't seem to me um, a good way f f to work. I wanted to work the way I prefer to work, which is to have a palette already prepared with the tube squeezed into um, little half pans. So I had this extra half pan holder lying around and so I took out the empty half pans and I squeezed um, a good amount of paint into each of the half pans from the tubes. Um, and so then what I did was leave the tubes, take them out of the pan, and now I'll put them in a drawer and use them when I need them, but I um, now will carry this around for daily use or for use when I want to use this landscape set. Uh, another way you could do this, if you don't have one of these pa little um, pan holders, is you could just take the individual half pans and just glue them into your uh, the bottom of a metal box or your palette with a glue dot or a double stick tape or something. So, I found this method to be give me good results. I was really happy with it. I could see it there. But the next thing I needed to do was make myself a little road map so I knew exactly how these colors looked. So, I took them out, and the very first thing I did was go through and make a color wheel with them to see, um, without using any other colors except the 12 that came in this box, if I could make uh, the complete color wheel. So I did and I only had to mix two colors. I had to mix red with violet to get red violet and I had to mix yellow with green uh, to get yellow green. So I decided oh that's cool I can take these this is a complete set. And then I also numbered little samples so I could see what the colors look like in the box so in the pans and this one that looks like black it's important to remember that it's really uh, violet otherwise you might get a big surprise during your painting so then I, since I had this done I decided to do another painting so my husband who's also my camera man brought me this bouquet and a, from the garden and a student had given me these beautiful orchids in my nature journal in class because we were painting flowers. So I decided to set it up and quickly um, see if I could paint it just to test out the paints because I thought the colors were really vibrant. So what I did was do a quick sketch 
and then paint it. And I wanted to share the results with you. Here's the painting I did. And um, I was really happy with these Rembrandt colors, paint colors. Um, and this landscape selection, even happier than when I used it the first time because I found that I could really mix a really good range of greens with the hooker's green. I believe it's, um, there were two greens that came in this set. Hooker's green light, which I really, really liked. I found it was a really versatile green. And then there was another green that came that was a uh, phthalo green that was also really useful for a turquoisey kind of green. So that said, that was wonderful. Um, I found the purple really nice. I found all the colors wonderful and I love the vibrancy I got. The only thing I added to this set so that I could complete my drawing was I added some permanent rose or quinacridone rose you could use also because I felt I needed the, the set comes with a really nice cool red. It's called, uh, let's see, it's called Permanent Matter Lake. Um, and it was nice as it's right. There's a sample of it here. It's a nice cool red, but I wanted something more vibrant and almost magenta -y and pinky, especially when doing flowers. So I, I found I needed that, but that was all. Otherwise, I thought the set was terrific. Um, I was really happy with the blues, the violets, with all the colors, actually. And I love the way it applied on the paper. Um, the brush that comes with it is really uh, nice. It's a pure red sable brush. So that's really cool too. And uh, I think um, it's an excellent set and I don't hesitate to recommend it to anybody if you're shopping for paints because I think you won't be disappointed.